Yes, YouTube, today I'm here at NAST University in Bloyo, Zimbabwe with two promising young athletes. One's a 400 meter hurdler, both 22 years old. His name is Vitalis. He does 400 meter hurdling and football. And the other guy's name is Dumuyo. And he does 400 meters and football. Now they in a, I think it's the second or third division football team called Crusaders FC and I uploaded the video the other day and then I was supposed to have a talk with the guys but it never materialized so if I don't get to see the guys before I leave I will upload a video giving the guys a talk on what I picked up and what I how I think they could improve as a football team even though I'm not a footballer all right so yeah these two guys today I'm gonna watch their session and then I have a chat with them later. So what's the training program today, guys? No. <laughs> I came to see what you do. So yeah. yesterday we did uh, 200 meters by 8 uh -huh. and um, today I was just thinking we do another and a high intensity one which is a pyramid that's 150, 250, 350 and 450 which is supposed to be around 70% 70, 70 of the effort Yeah. then when you're done with that that's supposed to be one set, you're supposed to go two sets so tomorrow we'll reduce to something like uh, maybe 100 meters by 6 or 8 just to keep your body uh, on your high note, then more stretches because we're probably going to have a, a competition on the weekend. And then on Friday, it's supposed to be also light training, a little bit of sprinting. And um, usually, after the sprints, you do your event at least once just to check where you are or twice uh, to get the feel of it. Then, competition on the weekend that's how we do it. Usually. And your 200 meters yesterday, what was your recovery time between yeah. the sprints? It was supposed to be something like uh, 35 seconds. So the problem is we don't have stopwatches to be we use it, doing it uh, on the time usually. Yeah. So we just do a walk back recovery. Walk back recovery. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And we and and you're gonna fit in football training around the schedule this week. Exactly. Uh, every day actually. Okay. And football training will be football. Uh, football drills. Football drills, uh -huh. and, um, tactical playing, and the coaches usually, since it's preseason, they're gonna make you run again. <laughs> <laughs> so we, earlier on, we were talking about recovery recovery time. Do you guys feel you recover enough, uh, or you you saw for your next session, your next match? Do you feel recovered, or are you drained? Yeah, with our fitness level, I think we're getting there. We're not. We won't be fully fit, but it will be fit. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I think the recovery is quite enough. All right. Cool. So usually at times, um, by the end of the week, uh, once or twice, mm -hmm. you're gonna feel a little bit of uh, fatigue. You're gonna feel exhausted, such that you would want to cut off one training session. But because of the love, man, you can't you can't just <laughs> give it all up. You know, you just gotta keep pushing. So okay. once the body adapts to that, you, yeah. you know you. you wanna just not mentally fit becomes a problem that's when you always exhausted and you don't get to do both trainings every day okay cool so today i'm gonna watch you guys and then give you my thoughts uh, i'm not gonna pick too much on your session okay. yeah or i'm or your running technique I'll, I'll probably pick out a bit on that what i want to talk about is nutrition and recovery yeah. all right and then just a little bit of life coaching as well to help you guys with uh, distractions and being focused so i'll identify distractions and how to stay focused it's not like i'm the best example in life but my million mistakes <laughs> all right all yours guys
so this is one of two athletics tracks in Zimbabwe that have the surface on it if I'm not mistaken uh, I forgot the name of the surface so one year in Bloel and the other at the National Sports Stadium in Harare and these guys have the surface all to themselves today from here he's gonna change into his spikes yeah I didn't bring mine because they're so old right and I'm saving them for competition so I have to make do with this what size are you uh, size 8.5 or 9 8.5 or 9 yeah. okay Big foot, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. no it's not you're a tall guy how tall eh? <laughs> um, are you 1.74 and how much do you weigh 64 kgs nice do you mind if I pinch your body fat? <laughs> yeah. Feel free. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you uh you are a sports scientist, so you understand what I'm doing. <laughs> I completely understand. Okay, so your session again today is it's um uh, we're just gonna do a pyramid. So we're going to be climbing up from 150 meters, 250 meters, 350 meters, and the last one will be 450 meters. Usually when we are in the mid-season, usually we're supposed to be doing this pre-season, but then because we've got competitions, we're going to have to cut it in half, yeah. so that we don't overdo it, because we've got a competition on the weekend. So we're just going to do one set. So okay. after 150, 250, 350, and 450, yeah. we're going to cool down. That cool. will be the whole session for today. All right, and it's now... 11.25 in the lovely Zimbabwean sunshine, heat. Yeah. All right, cool. Cool. Oh.
You have to hurt, guys. What? You have to hurt. Hey! Max! Sit! Go! What level of uh, exertion are you guys at? Flat out or 80% or? Uh, the problem is saying 80%. Yeah. So we try as hard as possible to push either 8% or 85%. Alright. So, so you don't exhaust yourself okay. too much because 100% will kill you. This <laughs> so you feeling nice and relaxed? Yeah. Yeah, you guys look nice and relaxed. And then the last one is, uh, is tough because 450 what usually happens is even if you feel nice and relaxed, right? right? The moment you go to start, psychologically your brain is telling you this is too hard, I can't do it. <laughs> and once your body starts reacting yeah. to say I'm tired, at times, especially if you're training alone, you're going to give in. Okay. But then when you've got someone pushing you, like this guy here, my brother here, you know I can't relax. Uh -huh. I can't relax. So, <laughs> yeah. so usually we're competing against each other. Doesn't look like you're competing now. <laughs> <laughs> so you decided not to do the full pyramid for yeah. f uh, up to 450 and then back down again because of you got competition in two days time. Yeah. And soccer training as well. But then soccer training we usually don't plan saying that we've got soccer training. Because as long as we're doing athletics training, yeah, we try as hard as possible, as, as, as much as possible, to focus on athletics training. The moment we we say we've got soccer training, it affects you psychologically, and you'll be thinking, "I don't have to push as hard as possible so that I don't waste much energy." But then, if you ignore the fact that you've got soccer training, you can just go and explain to the coach, "Today I did a hard program. Yeah, can you please go easy on me?" <laughs> but then usually. We try as, as hard as possible not to complain because uh -huh. I remember one of my coaches used to say complain after duty. Right. You're going to explain after that because at the end of the day, everyone was benefiting. The fitness, the endurance, it's all, it's all credit to you. So you try and ignore the effect and work as hard as possible. Max! Sit. Go.
Guys, sorry, I, I missed that one. Can we do it again? <laughs> <laughs> What's the psychologically? How did that one eat you psychologically? <laughs> if I had asked you to do it again, would you? We'll try. Uh huh. But then. But the pose will be. The pose will be different. <laughs> Definitely different. <laughs> nice one. Warm down. So we're just gonna, since it's just after race, we're gonna walk the four, all four kilometers. Yeah. Then we're gonna go back to that post yeah. where we did our warm up. Uh -huh. That's where we're gonna do our cool down. Okay, cool. So, yeah. So straight to the bar now. <laughs> you guys don't drink. No, I mean. Yeah. No. No, no. no. Smoke. No. no, no smoking. Well, I can say we don't drink, but then, um, personally, I've known him since high school. Mm -hmm. We were those guys who, when the guys would be like going for drinks and stuff like that, we don't drink with other age mates. Mm -hmm. I don't mind drinking when it's a family gathering. Yeah. But I never get myself to the point of getting drunk. Okay. So it's usually when I say I'm drinking, it's one beer. Yeah. Just take and yeah, the other side and during season like this, no alcohol whatsoever. We usually drink on December, December holiday. Yeah. It's just my party. But it's, yeah. But then, okay. when it's season like this, no, no. So, would you want us to sit? Uh, yeah, behind me. Okay, so you guys might have to speak up a bit so that the, the camera can pick you up because of your, your bit far. All right. All right, nice one. Uh, very impressed with you guys. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thanks for inviting me here to uh, watch you guys train and for them to calling me coach. <laughs> I'm honored. I don't even think you guys know my first name. Vitalis, what's your, my first name? I have no idea. No idea. I'm yes. coach. All right, so because I've only got about six minutes of filming and uh, very little battery left, what I'm going to do is uh, ask you guys some questions and then wherever the uh, 
uh, farming runs out then I'll continue to give you my points and tips on a, on another video right. and you guys will just have to watch it on YouTube okay. all right. yeah is that right yeah. That's good. okay cool so I promised to talk about your your diet and um, life coaching and what else did I promise I had very little on technique so I, I, today I wasn't focusing on your running technique maybe when I watch the videos later technique it would need me to come on a separate day I, I normally like to watch runners from far rather than from nearby that that way I, I get to take out all the noise from the movements so when you see somebody running from far that, that's when you can see that's a runner and you can you can pick out um, the goods and the bads so maybe next time uh, God willing so question number one why didn't you guys drink during your session? Um, during the session, what we did, yeah. Yeah. Drink water. Yeah. Usually, we take a water break after the first set. Yeah. And since we were doing this as only one set, that's why we didn't drink. Because okay. that's, that was just one set. Okay. We were supposed to take the break after the 450 meters, drink water, get a five or six minute rest, then we do another set to the same. Right. Okay, so you didn't feel thirsty or dry mouth or. Yeah, we felt the dry mouth when we were running the 450, the last one. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, that's the normal rest that we run the 400 meters. So we're using all the techniques we use to run the 400 meters. That's when we just feel make thirsty around. The Last 50, last 50 meters, yeah. meters there. That's when we were feeling so taste. Okay. But since it was the last set, yeah. Mm -hmm. You mean coming closer just in case the guys can't hear you? Um, what color is your Wii? Um, <laughs> what color was your Wii this morning? <laughs> <laughs> just age that. What color was your Wii? We, we uh. yeah, I think that one is uh, mine was. Go ahead and have a pee now and let me know. <laughs> 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 Yours was what color, Vitalis? Uh, it was a bit yellow. Yellow which is unhealthy, right? Yes. Okay, do me. I'm not sure. But I usually <laughs> have yellow one. Yellow one. Yeah. Do you think that's normal? No, no, not I normal. Know that's not normal. That's, that's not normal. normal. Yeah, I try to hydrate every time, but sometimes you just don't have that time. Okay. I trade because we'll be busy with school and stuff. Right. Uh, sometimes it's stressing that you kind of forget to just go and concentrate on drinking water, especially now that we're having exams and stuff. Yeah. When are exams? He's I finished his study. Oh, okay. Yeah. How did it go? I'll do it in the uh, Ish. <laughs> You're going to finish the gold for us in Zimbabwe. <laughs> <laughs> it's already finished in Zimbabwe. There's some planning to come over and see. Okay. <laughs> to get the ones there. Uh -huh. You want the ones that's it? Yeah. All right. Okay. So I seen you guys' session. And I said I was going to talk a little bit about it later on. Um, and then we spoke about your water fluid intake. I'll speak about that later on. Uh, in a nutshell, diet. Go. What do we eat? <laughs> Stable food is sadza. Right. Yeah, we're going to have our sadza with veggies. We usually have, um, it's hard to buy bread these days. So right. you got to have your flour. So you bake whatever it is that you can bake for breakfast. Uh -huh. So after baking, maybe lunch, you're going to have rice with something, usually with potatoes, uh, potato soup. Or usually it's going to be potato soup, tinned food, because we rely on supplies from outside. Having proper protein as meat is kind of tough because it's expensive. Mm. So diet for starches is usually rice, sadza, and for breakfast you have some baking. That's my some what? Uh, some bakings. Baking. Bacon. Yeah. Scones, baking as in stuff. baking scones or scones. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Right. Same, same. You guys live together? No. Yeah. You live with your families. Yeah, next to. <laughs> right. You live with your families. Yeah. Okay. So at the moment, I'm, at the moment, since we're at school. Right. Yeah. You have to rent right close to family they are not from Palawayo, right from the rural areas in Kai and yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, oh, I love him. Guy. <laughs> I was in Taba Zinduna the other day, cycled there. It's my rural area in Taba. Okay, so we eat sadza, mm -hmm. we eat greens, yep. we eat uh, meats when we can, mm -hmm. yeah, and oils. Yeah, as in tinned food? No, yeah. cooking oil. Cooking oil, yes. Yeah. Cooking oil is there, yeah. Cooking okay, cool. There. All right, cool. Uh, all right, so I'll answer that, that, that topic later on. We've got about a minute and a half left. Social life. Who are your friends? Would you say you got good or bad friends? Personally, I think I have good friends. Good, good friends. Most of my friends, they are, my, they are in the sporting field. Right. Because most of them are soccer players and the ones that are the athletes. Yeah. Yeah. Those are most of my friends that are here. Same bit. Uh, with me, uh, apart from these guys whom I, I usually do sports with, uh -huh. uh, my closest friends are my classmates. Yeah. We have a group of about five, which is my study group. They are good friends, but at times we balance each other because you know them so well. Yeah. So instead of motivating each other in terms of sports, because we all do sports, uh, one guy is doing rugby, the other volleyball, and the girl doing basketball, and the girl doing netball. So that's our crew. So, so no clubbing? No clubbing. No clubbing. Yeah. To bed early? I usually sleep late. <laughs> yeah. I usually yeah. sleep late. What is late? Late is 10 to 12. I don't go further. Up at what time? Up at half five for me. Up at half five? I have up at five o'clock exactly. Okay. Uh, any distractions? Relationships? Girls? <laughs> Not that they are distraction, they are blessing. <laughs> In Zimbabwe, is... especially when you're healthy young guys, huh? Yeah. 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 They're all over you. Then they start loving. Yeah. 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 Oh man, I don't know. I think my battery is dead, you guys. Dead. Everything is dead.